So here's Laura Lynn Jackson. I mentioned her earlier. Uh, you see kind of the same thing, right? Except she's got activity that increased across all the brain waves. You can see at the back of the head, delta, theta, alpha, beta. But what's interesting is that it kind of gets louder and louder and louder the faster it goes. So on this particular way of analyzing data, the white color in the back is the biggest. It's bigger than red, right, in this particular analysis system. So you can see the gamma, which is, you know, gamma is the fastest brainwave that we look at, and we'll talk about what that means in a minute. What's also interesting about Lara is you can see that that activity is all leaning over to the right. See what I'm talking about? It's kind of hanging over under the right occipital lobe. The reason that that's relevant in this case is because Lara is unique in that when she describes how she does her work, she says, oh, well, when I'm doing a psychic reading, I see things in my left visual field. I see things over here. And when I'm doing a mediumship reading, I see things in my right visual field. It's like, huh, that's different. I've never heard that from anybody. She's the only person that's told me that. Well, what's interesting about that is because the way visual processing works, the information goes in your eyeballs, crosses over, and goes to the opposite side of your brain. So guess what? She was doing a psychic reading, seeing information in her left visual field, and her right occipital lobe was what lit up. It's exactly consistent with what she said. Kind of cool. Again, it's not hardcore proof. It doesn't prove that this is real. It doesn't prove, but it's kind of cool, right? I mean, it's like, Clearly, her visual processing system was kicking into gear, right? Even though, literally, when we were doing this, we were sitting in a conference room in a hotel. You know what I'm talking about. These boring conference rooms where it's like a table with a, a like a tan tablecloth, a fake plant in the corner, and like, that's it, right? So visually, whatever she was picking up on, it was not what was in the room. Now, the other thing that's interesting about Lara's reading is if you look at this high beta activity, look up in the frontal lobes. You see that blue activity on the right frontal? So blue means there's a, a decrease of activity. So while her visual processing is increasing, her frontal lobes are actually shutting down. So she's not thinking, she's not hyper-focusing. In fact, her attention is relaxing, but she's getting more visual information. 